What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about the crazy uh news report that uh dropped earlier today. Apparently, Odyssey Jones was released from WWE involving some type of domestic abuse allegations. We gotta see what's going on with that. I know a few of y'all were hitting me up on Twitter talking about that or you know asking if I heard about it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up the article talking about this this is kind of crazy because i mean he essentially just made his debut on monday night raw teaming up with uh the new day like a few weeks ago and now he seemingly has been let go from wwe just as quickly as they debuted him uh odyssey jones fired from wwe following domestic violence allegations this is not looking too good odyssey jones is gone from wwe on september 2nd odyssey jones mysteriously disappeared from wwe's roster page with no explanation the move came as a surprise to fans as jones recently debuted on monday night raw uh 462 462 days after being drafted to the red brand as part of the 2023 draft and had been involved in the storyline with xavier woods and kofi kingston when discussing the situation on the wrestling observer uh radio dave Meltzer indicated that jones removal from the roster page likely uh indicated his exit from the company and um an update from sean ross sap a fightful revealed jones had been taken off monday night raw following allegations of domestic violence sap wrote uh, wrote uh, Odyssey Jones was removed from WWE TV when domestic violence allegations came to to light. Fightful has learned we've not heard any uh, heard of any arrest or charges being pressed in relation to the situation. We've reached out to WWE for a comment as well as clarification on his status. Talent had not been informed uh, of the situation. Now, Brian Alvarez reports on a, a Wrestling Observer a Live that Jones is indeed gone from WWE. Alvarez said, there has not been a press release or anything like that, but I've uh, been told Odyssey Jones is fired. There are rumors online also from Fightful that it was a domestic violence allegation. Apparently, no arrest at this point uh was told uh, at, uh apparently no arrest at this point, but I was told uh fired. That's kind of weird how you worded it, but I was told fired. So that's it for Odyssey Jones. When did Odyssey Jones last wrestle on WWE Raw? After making his Monday Night Raw debut on August 5th, uh, Jones went to de uh, went on to defeat Vincent Whiny on the August 12th episode of Raw. On August 19th, he teamed with the New Day and uh, to defeat the Final Testament as part of his emerging storyline with Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. This will mark his final match in wwe prior to his release what is going on what's going on that's crazy they they didn't even waste any time these are allegations granted this is how wwe operates this is how wwe operates and they're they're very quick with that but once again it's only allegations so i don't know maybe taking them off tv would have been the better option to figure until they figured out what's actually going on and did an investigation. But if they let him go, they fired him for sure and got him off the internal roster. Then there gotta be some more to the story that we, the public don't really know because to, for them to fire you, to get you off the roster, off of allegations and them allegations must be damning there must be some truth to those allegations or maybe he spoke up and said something about it himself i don't know that's kind of crazy in the grand scheme of things he literally just got on the roster bro and it seemed like he was going to be one of those uh the catalysts for this kofi kingston versus xavier wood feud because the seeds were planted they were planting the seeds of kofi just getting the help of Odyssey Jones, Xavier feeling like Kofi's trying to replace Big E. That may not, you know, obviously, Kofi is not trying to do that. While you have uh, Karrion Cross being the instigator to that whole situation, he's been doing that. So it, you know, it looked like that Odyssey Jones was going to be the catalyst for Xavier Woods to turn on Kofi. That's what it was looking like. And that could have been an interesting program to really get him 
involved because I think a lot of people would have been invested in a Kofi Kingston Xavier Woods feud. I think a lot of us would have been in, invested in that, and then you would have had Odyssey Jones in the mix. That would have been a high profile feud for him to be in the middle of. That would have been perfect actually for it for his career. The fact that he had been sitting. I don't even know if he was sitting in catering. They drafted him a year ago, and they never did nothing with him for a whole year. Uh, he was just collecting a paycheck, I guess. I mean, that's cool, I guess, but I'm sure he wanted to be on the show, and his first appearance on the main roster was a good one. He had a good crowd reception, and people, you know, I, I, I felt like people would have probably got behind him more, but damn. Jeez. If it is true, then that that's very unfortunate. You know, any type of domestic violence, men or women that are causing it, it's never good, and it's uh, it can lead down a dangerous path. But once again, these are allegations. I've seen people talk about it on Twitter, like, "Oh, this guy is stupid. He's an idiot. He fuck. He fumbled the bag. He fucked up his career. How could you do that? You just finally got on the main roster and you fucked it up. I don't know if he did it or not." More information will probably come out, but once again, it is kind of telling that WWE would just let this guy go like that if it wasn't something substantial about it. Now, maybe there's some new type of policies out there, you know, when it comes to talent and, you know, domestic violence and the outside activities. But once again, you would think that there would be some more to the story because it's allegations. People lie all the time. I'm not sitting there saying that anyone that's been through domestic violence and a domestic abuse is lying, but there are people that do that. There are spiteful individuals that know you're a public figure, so they'll lie. They'll lie and do whatever they can to tarnish and ruin your legacy. So that could be a thing, but once again, I don't even know. I don't even know where the sources of this domestic uh, abuse even came from so if y'all know anything you know what i'm saying y'all let me know i'll look into it but i don't really you know i don't really know all i know is the headlines are saying my boy odyssey is gone they wwe said no and to be honest with you this is how wwe operates especially now the amount of money they're making the amount of sponsorships they're getting how big wwe is they are at this point where they don't want nothing to do with anything that's negative about any of their wrestlers working for their company it don't even matter if you're a wrestler producer whatever if there's something negative that comes out about you there's a good chance you're not going to be on television and if they find some substantial evidence there's a good chance you out the door because they don't want to risk i mean hell we just dealt with the whole vince mcmahon thing and they kicked him out the door and he's the guy that's kind of created this this uh juggernaut that you see in wwe He's the brainchild behind it, essentially. And they kicked him out the door once the Janelle Grant stuff happened. Oh, he. So if they will kick Vince out the door and don't give a damn, they hear any type of allegations from someone they just now started pushing, they out the door too. So comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all believe uh, the allegations to be true? Do y'all know any other information? Like if where these these sources of allegations coming from and are y'all you know i guess you could say disappointed that odyssey jones was let go you know what i'm saying if if it's true that he did these things and obviously no he doesn't need to be uh <laughs> on wwe television but if it isn't true you know would you guys want him to come back if there's a way they can you know he can find to prove himself innocent would y'all want him to come back to wwe y'all let me know how y'all feel about this it's kind of a weird weird situation i appreciate all the love support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace